guys welcome back to my channel on today's menu i have po' boy sandwiches for the protein i'm going to be using uh, shrimp and scallops and i'm going to make a mayonnaise based uh, sauce which includes um, the garlic pickle and i'm going to be using some horseradish sauce some capers i'm going to be using my favorite meal and I'm going to be using paprika, I'm going to be using some cayenne pepper, some garlic pepper for my sauce, and also some grape coupon. And for the fried shrimp, I'm going to be using all the seasons that you see here as well as I'm going to put into the uh, mayo-based sauce. And I have some leaves for my topping, and some tomatoes, and some lemon. Now, I guess we can go ahead and get started and we can go ahead and put everything together. So we'll go ahead and start off with the sauce because the sauce needs to sit in the freezer for about 30 minutes. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the mayo sauce. So I'm gonna add about a cup of real mayonnaise. That's about a good cup right there. And then we're gonna add some grape coupon, maybe about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of that. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of the creamy style horseradish sauce. It's kind of spicy, so we don't want to put too much in. But yeah, I'll just get a little stir. stir. As you can see it's coming together. I think that's enough. Because we're going to have pickles in there at the end. Alright, so we're going to add some cayenne pepper. About one teaspoon. I'm using the, cay the Louisiana uh, cayenne pepper uh, seasoning. So you can use the, the regular cayenne, cayenne pepper, or you can use the, this particular season. It doesn't matter. Whatever flavor you like. I'm going to add some black pepper, one teaspoon, some garlic pepper, and about one teaspoon of that as well. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of paprika. Stir. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add hot sauce, about two tablespoons of hot sauce, or if you want more, you can add more. I'm, Louis I'm using Louisiana hot sauce, so about two tablespoons of Louisiana hot sauce, and we're gonna go ahead and add lemon, and we're gonna go ahead and add some capers. Go ahead and set this in the freeze for about, excuse me, in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. And we'll go ahead and get started with um, the seed, the flower seasoning. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is season the protein and also uh, prepare my uh, seasoned flour mixture. Sorry, seasoned cornmeal flour mixture. Uh, so I have uh, one cup of buttermilk that I'm going to go ahead and pour into the um, 
casserole pan here. And I'm gonna add some Louisiana hot sauce. So it all depends on how spicy you like. That's For those that you don't know, we are in the process of moving from Germany to the United States. We've made it over to the United States and we're in temporary housing now, waiting on our home to be finished. So I just want to show you all how you could actually cook a, a good meal while in temporary housing as well as if you were in your permanent home. Let me just add a little bit more buttermilk. So it's quick and easy, simple process. You know, as long as you have all the pots and pans that you need, you should be good. I actually went out and bought some kitchen tools because I love to cook and my husband doesn't like to eat out. So now let's go ahead and start with the flour. And I wouldn't want to eat out during this time anyhow. So. But, you know, we do have to eat out on a certain occasion, but it's best just to, to eat at home. So let's go ahead and just do um, one cup of flour. Self-rising cornmeal. I have yellow self-rising cornmeal. So we're gonna put about half a cup in there. base scallops, but um, for example, look at this huge scallop. Look at it. Nice. But yeah. So I'm going to give it a little toss. I'm going to add some paprika. Season the flour now. And we're like cayenne, Louisiana cayenne seasoning. And then we're going to add some garlic pepper. Mix this well. Done. We're just gonna set this to the side and start working on the protein. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and season up the protein now. take this over and start cooking up the shrimp and the scallop. All right, so I've already uh, put in some shrimps into the buttermilk hot sauce mixture. So it's been sitting for about a couple minutes.
So I'm gonna wash my hands and we're gonna dip in some buttermilk again and then we're gonna go ahead and dip it in the flour once more. All right, so the first dip is already done from the buttermilk and then the flour. So we're gonna go ahead and dip it a second time to make a, a thicker uh, batter. So we can go ahead and get started with that. And I moved over just to give you a better look. So that air was kind of cramped, so we're gonna dip one shrimp into flour. We're gonna coat it up a little bit. Refrigerator for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna come back to this. So let me go ahead and finish it up, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start searing the scallops. You do not want to overcrowd the pan. this cook for another two minutes then I'm gonna check on the scallops see how they're doing and then we're gonna go ahead and take everything out come back to you and we're gonna go ahead and just uh, toast the bread and, and get put this whole boy together all right so it looks like the shrimp are ready to come out golden brown nice and golden brown last batch of scallops and then we're gonna come back and put everything together. All right, so the shrimp are ready, the scallops are ready, uh, tomatoes I've sliced those and now we're gonna go ahead and slice up the French uh, roll. I have one in the back toasting already. I just want to show you how to how I use it, how I cut it down. We're just gonna open it up a little bit, not too much, because you don't want to separate. So we're going to put that, and I'm, I'm going to put the butter down the pan and toast it. So, come on so the butter's already melted. I'm going to go ahead and just place the bread down in here. Smush it a little bit, that way butter can get all over the pan. So we're going to go ahead and cook this for about a minute or two, or until brown. So let's go ahead and assemble the sandwich, because I have a toasted bun already ready. So come on over with me. All right, so everything all ready to be assembled. I have my mayo sauce. I have to spread it on the Like everything's come together and let's squeeze some lemon rain. And there you have it. That's going to be my shrimp and scallop cold boy sandwich. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm ready to eat. Thank you so much. Cheers. Come get some with the big guns. Come get some.